look at the mud on this guy. Welcome back to another episode of Funny Fur Friends. So go uh, hit that smash button or, or, oh my gosh, smash that like button. I don't know why I wanted to say it like that. Um, just to get the notifications and go and subscribe to this channel. Go check out my Patreon, which is funny animal stories and funny travel stories mixed together to go with the theme of my Spotify travel stories and my um, animal funny for funny for friends here. We have um, my all other handles down below in the um, in the description, like my Instagram and TikTok, and that is it for that. So we have some funny funny animals all messed up in the mud today. Super excited to watch these. Uh, share them with you guys. There's lots more to go around. I have many more ideas. So let's get right into it. Um, Come on, let's go check out some of those muddy animals. Okay, here's to all the muddy animal, muddy animals. My dog in warm, clean water. Like, what did you do to me? My dog in cold, filthy water. The happiest girl in the dirt, as seen on IG from our friend Jinxie. Yeah. And probably the saddest dog when she's having a bath because she thinks she's you know, she's in trouble probably, but she's not. She just needs to be clean. It's funny how dogs are like that. They're the total opposite when they want their um the, to be in the mud with which is dirty water, but they don't want to have a bath to be clean. They want to be dirty all the time. Not all of them, but most. Okay, on to the next one. I guess it's a day of mud. Let's see what this one has. Let's see how muddy this one gets. Oh my god. Just right in it, face first, not even like Rolling on the back, like face first. Oh. Oh. Cooper. Cooper. oh, look at that mess. Oh no, there's two of them, two dogs. Oh. I'm assuming you drove them too. So, what do you do in those scenarios? My dogs, I don't think, really care for the mud, which I'm very lucky that way, but what would you do in those scenarios of, of cleaning them up before they get in your car? Do you bring water with you just in case they do something like this because you know your dog like that? Or do you just wipe them down with a towel? Um, and then do you have those covers in your back seat specifically for the dogs to lay on and then you just wash it after? I would love to hear your thoughts because if I do it, Adopt a dog, who knows? Maybe they'll love the mud just as much as these dogs here. Okay, on to the next so called innocent dog. Okay, let's move on to the next one. When life gives you mud, make paw prints. Meet our adorable muddy explorers. Well, just full. The first one was full body, these ones are the bottom half. They say a little dirt won't hurt. Our money buddy here. Oh, oh, the husky's just getting cozy. Looks like he was, he's gonna go for a nap. Oh, oh, this dog's refusing to leave. He's like, no more mud, please. Cleanly mud one, cleanliness zero. Oh, just lays right down in the water. Why? Oh, <laughs> he's so funny. Oh, I wonder how deep that one is. Mud mask. Yep. Aww. Oh my god. When, when they are free, they're also happy and carefree as we watch these pups have the best days. I enjoy the simple pleasures. Yes, of course. Oh yeah, you know, you know you gotta clean it up later, but it's so much more fun just watching them have fun in the mud first, and then you clean it up later. Right? That's how it works. Is that how it works? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at how muddy these guys are. Oh my god. Oh, more mud. I think these were the same. Some of them were repetitive on here when I was recording it. So you'll get to see them again. Oh, the full body. <gasps> this one, not too bad, but the husky though. Just let me sleep here, mom. I'm good. Oh my god. 
This one is refusing to move. <laughs> yep, money, mud one, cleanliness zero. Especially if they had pure white fur and you have to just wash that all off. Oh, I mean, any dog, really, it's a pain to wash. Or even black, because like, if they have pure black fur, because then it's hard to tell if you got all the mud. I'm sure it's not, but it might be hard to tell. Or harder to tell. Oh, little puppy there. <laughs> I love that little, the little paws come up. Oh. Look at how dirty they are, but look at how happy they are in the mud. It's the cutest little thing. Oh. Yeah, seriously though, like look at how happy they are in the mud, but how and carefree they are. Like, like even and then compared to a, a bath, I don't get the difference. I think obviously dogs like to be dirty, so they're gonna play in the mud, but yeah, compared to baths, they prefer, they prefer the mud. Okay, just gotta let them live a little bit. Um, well, actually, funny story, too, is our dog, so my dog, we have a camp way out in the boonies, and um, we used to not let her run around because we were worried for bears and if she would come back or not, but she's starting to come back a little more now, which is awesome because, of course, we feed her. We pet her, we, we home her, we bathe her, whatever whatever it is. And there's a place to sleep for her. So, obviously, she's coming back. She used to, like, take hours to come back. Or maybe we would have to go look for her. My mom would be very worried, so we would always have her on a leash. But she's half, but over the three years we've had her, we realized she's a lot happier without a leash and just be free and she comes back more often and more frequently and like she'll stay back and then she'll um like she'll have her last run before like seven o'clock before it gets too late where we can't see her kind of thing and she'll come back before it gets too dark and then she goes to bed and then the next day she'll do most of it all over again but she's tired too tired from the first night because she's like bolting everywhere for hours, comes back, half an hour will be gone, back, but she's running and running and running, so, but she doesn't seem to get herself lost, knock on wood, that doesn't happen, so she is doing much better with that, so we've left her off the leash, and she seems a lot happier that she's more free, so it is funny to see that with dogs, they seem to be happier more free because um i don't know if it's with all breeds but some breeds they're more independent so it's very so it, it so it's natural for their breed to be freer if that makes sense so i i don't know but i think that's perfect that that we did the right thing for her this time around and we're just going to keep doing that let me know in the comments if you have uh, thoughts about that okay on to the next dog the next muddy dog here okay here we go on to the next Muddy dog. Paper's face at the end. Is that it? Oh my, oh my god. Well, show me. Get it. Get it, Kane. What's he looking for? <gasps> oh, he put his whole face in there. <laughs> oh. Kane, let me see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like chocolate. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Shit. That'll be fun to take off. Show me your mud hole. So funny. I get so excited over mud, but baths, not so much. Maybe I'll do an episode of ma baths versus mud. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, on to the next muddy dog here. I can't sing, so pardon me. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna have fun cleaning that. Jeepers! I would like to see like the the aftermath of what this dog looks like outside of the uh, uh, mud here. <laughs> oh, she's here. She's really enjoying themselves. Oh no! And they have the harness on, so you have to really wash that too. Oh, it looks like thick mud on the dog too. Like oh my god! I really hope that you got that all out. Probably took you a long time. But holy moly. 
That's crazy. And we are on our last two. Okay. There's four muddy dogs in this one. Oh my god. One, there's two, one lay, the other one's just like flat out laying in it. Like he's like, like that's his bed. Like he's so comfortable in it. Oh my god. Why? This oldie is very much a goodie, so I'm reposting it. Okay, that's the caption. He needs a snorkel. Yeah, he needs to bring him to like a lake where it's clean so he could go under. I think that would be really cool. Um, and then on to the next one, which we'll just do right now. If I have my eye contact, mom won't notice the mud. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm all clean. Don't need to give me a bath or anything. Innocent until proven guilty. Mom, I was framed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, do your dogs love mud? Do they love to get dirty? My dogs, I don't, I don't know yet. Probably. My dog tries to drink puddle water. I don't like her drinking puddle water because you could get sick from that. Um, that is it for me, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This will be out Wednesday. I'm trying to um post a little less so that i can give more content i think that would be better um and then friday you'll hear some awesome stories and then go check out the patreon with the same content in it you guys have an awesome rest of your day we'll chat soon bye now